Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This is James, and they did release the opening, say, minute of The Ones Who Live, episode one. If you haven't checked it out, the link is in the description. It's real short, but definitely check it out. We see a lot in this minute. Let me break it down. We open with Rick in his apartment as he's training, as he's being a soldier of CRM. I mean, the guy you see right here is 10 years into the apocalypse. And we know that because of what's on TV, which I'll get to in just a moment. But it opens up with Rick's voiceover. I tried. Please know. I tried. And that's like a suicide note. You know, he is taking a piece of glass, thinking about slicing his throat. He looks at the phone. And yes, that's a new phone. This is 10 years in. Michonne already has the other one. And she's looking for him. So Rick, I'm sure, had that phone just as a, hey, I, I want something to remember and help me remember and always remind me of, of Michonne and my daughter. And he put that in a bag. It got on the boat. Michonne finds it. It's one of the clues that is guiding Michonne. But we see another phone here with just Michonne on it. This is a different phone. This is later on, 10 years in. He, need, he just needs something to remember her by, like every day, like be able to look at her and say, hey, I, I'm going to get home. I'm going to get home. I'm, I'm going to get home. And he's been trying to get home. This is 10 years in. He's been trying to get home this whole time. Like uh, people ask the question, you know, why hasn't Rick returned home? He sure has been trying. What you see here in this frame right here, um, this is a man that's suffering. He just hasn't accepted where where he's at. I think that's going to be a theme, you know, of episode one. He just hasn't accepted where he's at. He's suffering. He wants to get home to his wife and his kids, his family. So what about what's on TV? It's hard to hear. You can kind of hear the news talking. And that's one thing we learned if you watch World Beyond. Lieutenant Colonel Kublik, we saw inside her apartment and she was turning on everything because it was getting to her like it's all worth it. It's all worth it because it's giving people all of this stuff back. Uh, you know, gas on the stove, TV, news, radio, uh, ceiling fan, air. You know, it was just she had a very nice apartment with everything that you could ask for as far as what you used to have. And one thing to note about Rick, I know you probably know it already, but he's been with CRM for around eight years. And he was only with the other group around four years. So that's uh, something to really, 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 you know, think about as far as Rick's position. So we know they have TV and news from World Beyond, but what's on the news? Something that happened in World Beyond. This is Omaha. You got the three circles, Civic Republic of Philadelphia, Omaha community, and Portland community. And in World Beyond, they destroyed Omaha. That's what's on TV. Now, there's a theory out there that the three circles don't mean those things. Uh, they It means Civic Republic of Philadelphia. There's another Civic Republic of something and uh, even another one. And these are just communities, just these satellite type communities um, that they were trying to help out. But I'm pretty sure the three circles include Omaha and Portland and Civic Republic. They would never say Civic Republic of Philadelphia because it's a hidden city. Nobody is supposed to know where it is. So only inside the city would you say that, right? The other cities could be the same way if they're hidden, if that theory is true, but I, I'm pretty sure it's Omaha and Portland. So let's take a look outside the window. We can see the windmills right out his window. We see those in some of the promo stuff, some of the trailer stuff. That is Civic Republic right outside his window. So it wasn't very long, but still a lot of information packed into just that uh, minute, uh, opening minute. It lets you see Rick, a man who's suffering. Here's a man. He's trapped. He's thinking of suicide because he can't get back to his family. Whoever that woman is on the phone, right? If you didn't know the backstory. But we, mostly all of us, we all know the backstory. We've been waiting for like six years or so for this backstory. There's a ton of spoilers out there. Scenes episodes, everything, just to everything. So I know there's some of you that chase those things, right? You really want it. Some of you try to avoid it like the plague. Then there's the people in the middle. It's okay if you see something, but you know, whatever. You try not to. I may know some stuff myself. I may have seen some stuff myself, an episode, a scene, something. And if I know, I may dance around it a little bit in my video. But that doesn't mean if you guys know... You can just type it in the comments. Oh, James, you know about that one thing you were speculating on? This is the answer and spoil it. So please, even if you do know, 
the real answer or what happens or what's going to happen, don't put it in the comments. Please don't spoil it for everybody else and possibly even me. But that was it. That was the opening minutes. Hey, you guys, let me know what you think about it, of course, down in the comments below. And I will join you there. This is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more dead stuff.